Hey planner friends, how's it going? Thanks much for stopping by my channel. My name is Ryan and this is the man with the plans and we are back doing my March budget. I've got the whole thing set up for you ahead of time because I realize that these things take forever if I write everything out with you and nobody's got 25 minutes to watch an entire budget so I figured if I pre-filled it we would mosey right along. Uh, a little bit about me before you dive in. Um, welcome to a man with the plans. Essentially this channel is all about decorative planning, as you can see here, budgeting, lifestyle, occasional vlogs. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, go ahead and click that red subscribe button because it helps me out and you'll be able to see my content in your feed every time I post it. Uh, a little bit else about me is that I am a single adult living in Minneapolis, Minnesota with one income in the household. I am currently on Dave Ramsey's Baby Step Numero Dos working through my baby steps. You'll see here I've got my car and my student loan left. So my snowball is almost finished. We've got the last couple of tough ones to go, but as we'll point out, it looks like I'll be melting some of this debt if I can take care of it. So before we go into the actual numbers in here, let me just say that this kit is actually, um, was given to me by a friend of mine. Caffeinated Kate is her name. She has a channel as well as a Etsy shop with all sorts of lovely budgeting things. You can tell this theme here is nice and lovely and bright for spring. And thank goodness we can use some green in my life here in Minneapolis, Minnesota because it is anything but green outside. Although I do think the snow is starting to melt. So fingers crossed for snow melt. But if you want to check out her channel, I will leave a link down below as well as her Etsy shop. I'll leave it also down there for you. Let's go ahead and dive in. We'll kind of break this up into two parts. We'll go through the income and the expenses piece and then we'll also dive into my debt snowball as well as something I really liked from February, which I will leave over here. This is the other kit, right? So with the goals section over here, we will do a budget recap video coming up this month. But I think these are really helpful for me to remember. I actually put most of these in my regular planner as well um, for my monthly view for the month of March. I will leave that linked up over there. But for now, let's go ahead and dive in. I will flip this over and zoom you all in so we can kind of talk through each section as we go. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Hooray. Okay. So. I will start with my job. So I figured I would move my paycheck out into um, two separate ones that are being paid for the whole month. Uh, they've been pretty similar in the past couple of months. So I'm going to guess that they are around $1,830 after taxes, retirement, and all sorts of other fun stuff are taken out of them. So that is an estimate. They've been like 835, 837. So we'll see what those actuals come out to. The next thing is where it says transfer. Um, transfer, for those of you that are not familiar or are new here, welcome. But the other thing is that my parents and I split my student loan payments down the middle. So every month my mom sends me um, half of the minim what the minimum payments of both loans would have been. I paid my first student loan off early. I will leave a link to the I paid off my student loan debt video, my first loan up there. Um, so they transfer that over. It's usually 150 one week, 150 towards the end of the month. And then the last thing is a new category. Well, it's not a new category, but it is a new job. So I recently started a side hustle. I'm a part-time project manager and integrator for a really good friend of mine's lovely business. She is um, a master NLP coach and online business strategist. Her name is Jen Casey. She's also the host of the Inner Boss podcast. I will leave a link to that down below as well. She's an absolute doll and a friend of mine from years and years and years ago. So I'm working with her 10 to 15 hours a week and after taxes I'm estimating that my monthly side hustle earnings are going to be $750 to start with. Give or take, we'll see how it pans out. I started towards the end of February so this will be the first full month that I'm working there. But I'm really excited. One, I like to stay busy, so this I think between YouTube, between this channel and then that side hustle and my regular job, I'm gonna be very, very busy, which is good. I like to stay busy and it's all fun. Also, it's really cool to project manage something other than a government project because I tend to do a lot of that and so it'd be nice to have a, a different spin on things, so you will. So yeah, the expected income for the month of March is $4,710. 
I'm not including YouTube income in here. I really am trying to invest anything that I get out of monetization for this channel back into it, whether that's stickers or other products or stuff like that. So I'm not gonna be drying that yet. I know some YouTubers were taking it and putting it towards their debt, which is amazing. I think I'm not gonna do that as of late, but we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and dive into the fixed expenses. So these are the expenses that don't change every month. You'll notice that this list is significantly shorter than last month because I decided I needed to move my utilities and my Excel energy out of the fixed expenses because they do fluctuate and they do change. Let's go ahead and walk through the fixed expenses. The first is my rent, 1487, which includes parking and some other thing that I can't remember. That's a little bit expensive, I know, and I know that if I chose to live somewhere else significantly further out of the city, I could save a lot of money, which I could also put towards my snowball. Great comments from everybody that said that. However, for me, I chose to make that sacrifice to slow down my snowball because I get to walk to work and there's a whole lot of other benefits and I'm not really driving my car as much. So those are the things that were important to me and so that's where I'm going for right now. If circumstances change, that's where I'm at but that's my rent. My internet is CenturyLink. Decent quality, I will say. It's weird because we have the CenturyLink on, so I don't even know where my modem is, or it was very strange. I literally had to call and activate it, which is kind of handy. The other thing on there is my sinking fund, which is $180. I will have a video out, I promise, at some point. I know I've said it over and over again, but I did film it, I just haven't edited it. It will be out eventually about my sinking funds for 2019. Essentially, what a sinking fund is, is that any expense that you no is coming. Uh, so for example, Christmas. It's not an emergency. Every year Christmas comes if you celebrate it, so you should be planning for it. Or for me, I live in Minnesota, my family's in New York, I have to travel for at least one holiday a year. I have a travel sinking fund because I know that that flight is going to come up and I can just buy the money and have saved it already. The other one that is pretty common too is uh, my car tab. So here in Minnesota we have an annual registration that is based on the value of your car, which is kind of crazy. Um, although I think I'm just used to New York's way of doing it. So I have all of those things prepaid for, and if I took all of the expenses that I'm planning for, divided that number by 12, 180 is what it is. I move those over to a Capital One 360 account, just kind of like, I'll send it over. Those are really great checking accounts. I will leave a link down below for that because they're interest bearing. And so I get eight cents every month or something like that. And I mean, eight cents doesn't seem like a lot, but over the course of the year, it does start to add up. And so the more you put in there, the more you save, the more it grows, all good stuff. The next thing is fixed expense. It's my birthday. I wanted to get myself a little something. Um, actually, I did actually get myself a little something. It was um, a rug for my living room and then some wall art to round out that really bare rug, from, uh, bare wall from my um, apartment tour. I'll leave that linked up too. So you can see that. It looks really great now and I really feel nice and settled in. And so, yeah, it's just becoming home and I'm really happy about that. So that those expenses are done. The next thing on here is my car minimum. So my car minimum payment normally is 351. I went ahead and upped the minimum payment with my auto payment company to $300 every two weeks, so $600 a month. So that's where that minimum comes from. And then the next minimum payment is my student loan. My final one, which is on the graduated payment thing, which is $461.35. So those are my minimum payments and fixed expenses, which in total comes to $2,868.30. So not too shabby. And then moving over to the variable column. So these are the ones that are going to change. And I love that Kate has it set up so you put the actual, and then for me, plus and minus is a big deal. So let's walk through these. Ready? The first one is gas. So now that dance season is over with, I won't be driving as much. I, to be honest, I'll probably hardly be driving but I still figured two-ish tanks a month would be $70, so we'll see if I need all of that. The next thing is groceries at $250. For some reason, I feel like Minnesota has really spendy produce. I don't know why, but like meat and other fresh vegetables are really pricey to me here. I don't know, I could be wrong. But so that's $250. I usually come close to or under that one. The next one is subscriptions. So this, these are things like these are things like Netflix and Hulu and a couple of other things that I use for my YouTube channel like TubeBuddy and Canva, which is a photo editing software that I love. Um, I pay for those premium memberships just because I think they give, they give added value in my life. Uh, the next one is YouTube. So this is like I wanted to buy some Chrisanne Design stickers for Go Wild Planning. 
I couldn't help myself, so I went ahead and did that. Other things like planner cake kits and things you see on the channel, maybe a seasonal surprise box here and there. That was last month's expense, waiting for my box. Those are things that I put in there and I finally added a line to that. After that, we're moving on to personal, is at $150. Whether there's overflow from my apartment spending or I need to buy some hair gel or some face wash or stuff like that, those things that, you know, are important on your persons. Just gotta get those done. Then after that, UMS is my utilities, so that's like water, sewer, and trash. And then Excel Energy, obviously it's like my heating and my lights and all that good stuff. So that's UMS is estimated at $40 and Excel Energy is estimated at $80. February was cold, so I kind of figured I'd be using a lot more heat, but I was away one weekend to go to Denver, so we'll see. That total comes to $740. So moving on down to the total section, ba 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 ba. The total income budgeted is $4,710. My fixed expenses are $2,868.30. We subtract that and the variable expenses from the income and the balance remaining should be, if I can do this, this is gonna be super cool, $1,101.70. So take that plus the $600 I have already on minimums and I'll be throwing $1,700 at my car. How freaking fun. That would be incredible. I feel like I'm really melting this stuff. So yeah, good stuff all around. If I, if I can even stay close to that, my goodness, I'm gonna have a party here on the internet. So keep your fingers crossed for me. Hope that this will work itself out. Let's flip over and we can talk a little bit about some of my snowball debts and then my goals and we'll call this video done. You'll notice here I took the thin washi and kind of just split this whole thing up. I like the way this looks. So here we go, we'll start with my first debt snowball debt, which is my car balance, which is currently at, this was done a couple of days ago, so there might be interest on this, but $8,440.60. Now, if you are a smart YouTuber, which so many of you are, you'll know that I had significantly more car loan left when I did my February budget. And we will talk about why I was able to melt my current loan. Let's go flip back and see how much it really was, because I want to just chat about this for a second. Yeah, so I was sitting at $12,134. Um, and the reason why I was able to kick the crap out of this was I had upped my monthly payment to $600, which is cool. But then I also got my tax refund back, both my federal and my state. And I threw them at it hard. So yeah, we're sitting below $10,000. We had like a $3,000 payment month in February and oh my gosh, it felt so good. So between that, moving it along with my new side hustle, I'm gonna melt this sucker down. $1,700 this month would put me, uh, my math is bad, but it would put me in like the $6,000-ish range, right? Incredible, so do that a couple more times and then I'm done. Nope, my car I owned free and clear, what? is that about? That would be incredible. So the way that I'm gonna track this though is starting balance here is 8,440. My minimum payment here is 600. Any amount extra we're gonna throw in there and then at the end of the month I will throw my ending balance in there and I'm hoping it's the number six is what it starts with, fingers crossed. Then obviously for my student loan, you know, I feel like I'm making less progress on this one because right, we're not doing the snowball effect here but we are under 27,000, which is cool. My minimum payment is the same every single month, and I will just be sure to put the ending balance there as we go. So let's go ahead and move up to the goals a little bit. So these are pretty simple ones that I wanna work on for the month. Um, goal number one, bring your lunch four times per week. I think that's pretty simple. Um, I do feel like my work culture is very social and we love to, Oh, let's grab a salad, let's grab a coffee, let's grab a this, let's grab a that. And as much as I enjoy that, I need to say, I'll go for a walk, but I am good. I have my salad, I have my this. And so while I'm sitting here filming this, I've got a big pot of chicken noodle soup on the back burner on my stove. So it smells wonderful in here. I wish we had smell of vision for you guys. The next thing is 20 no spend days. I set out for 15 last month and I came close. I think 13 was the end result, but 20, we got you know a bunch more days in the month 
I'm going to be super, super good this month because it's my birthday month and I'm getting older, not necessarily wiser or so I hope. That's my other goal. And the last one, which is something that I struggle with all the time. I love to go out. I love to have appetizers and a good beer and all those things. And they're not good for my waistline and they're certainly not good for my wallet and my budget. So for me, I'm going to find some free things to do this month. I have the state park pass as the weather gets nice, jumping in the car, going for a hike and bringing your lunch. You know, those are the things that I'm gonna work on for the month of March. So that about wraps up my budget. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole thing all said and done. What are your big fiscal plans for the month? What are you working on? What sort of things are you focused on as a family, as a household? Where do the numbers fall? You let me know, leave a comment. Go ahead and leave a, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. And I do my best to answer as many of them as I can. I'll at least give you a little heart or something if I can see it. All right, let's wrap this up. You can find me over on Instagram at a man with the plans. You can find me over on Facebook at a man with the plans as well. I have those linked down on my channel. I have a blog that I don't update as often as I'd like, but I'll have something new up for you guys soon. And you can, as always, planner friends, hope you have a great week. And until next time, Bye, planner friends.